Okay, well, my name is Bart Hackworth, and uh, I'm a, a, a Golden Gate Ferry vessel captain. And I've worked here for about six and a half years. And uh, what I do every day is work with um, the crew aboard my vessel to maintain a safe passage of passengers back and forth across San Francisco Bay in all weather conditions and all, you know, all conditions. And basically, the Golden Gate Bridge, I've always wanted to work here because it's always been known as a great place to work, a great atmosphere and a good place um, as far as how they treated their employees. And um, the public has always been pretty happy with, with the job we do. And, and uh, now I just, uh, along with everybody else here, see that we're, the district is pushing us in directions that, that aren't going to be best for us as individuals or the bridge as a whole as far as making us motivated, healthy employees. And um, we got to put a stop to it now because there's, we're willing to bargain and we're making huge effort to meet their financial goals. We, we understand that the economy is a large strain and there's a lot of other things that they're committed to, but, but uh, we don't feel like they're they're really being reasonable with us, and so this is why we're out here, and, and uh, hopefully they start listening and we can come to a common agreement that is better for the future of everything. Every day I make sure that thousands of passengers have a safe and enjoyable trip across San Francisco Bay. I'm very concerned about the direction the district is pushing us in. The employees of the bridge are being asked to make major concessions in the areas of increased costs of healthcare benefits through premium sharing, changing the retirement age for new hires to be age 60 to qualify for a pension and retiree health benefits, and reducing the amount of doctors current retirees will be allowed to see for health problems. I started thinking about how premium sharing would affect me and others, <clears throat> so I did a little research and came across a study done by some University of Chicago researchers. In this study, they stated that one of the common reasons a company will implement premium sharing for a health care plan is to encourage employees to move their spouses and children to an available alternative plan. And so when I look at my situation closer, I saw that not only would my wife and kids leave the Bridges plan for a cheaper one, but most likely so would I. This is not something I would like to do. I do not know if this is your intent by forcing this type of cost increase on your employees, but it is reality and it is not fair and equitable, especially considering you have just signed a five-year contract with the ATU that does not include any of this. I earn my benefits every day making sure the ferries, the district, and the public are safe. I ask the board move off misguided principles and seriously reconsider the significant consequences put forth by the labor coalition or concessions put forth by the <coughs> labor coalition so that we can settle our contract as soon as possible <clears throat> all that we are asking for is respect and fairness thank you, thank you.